los públicos a nivel de televisión. Ministerio de Gobernación. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Angel. Hello, Good evening, teacher. Buddy. How are Hello. you? Fine. And you? Good, very good. ¿Cómo van en los días sin cuarentena? También. <laughs> so, so. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> ya están yendo full a trabajar. Uh, yo estoy trabajando desde casa. Ay, qué chivo, yo también. <risa> Ojalá que no me saque. <risa> Ay, sí. Por lo menos ahí por agosto. <risa> Ay, sí. Nos ahorramos el tráfico. Uh, sí. Bastante. Sí. Hello, Nancy. No, no, todavía no se conecta. Creo que hay muchos que no han dejado de trabajar, ¿verdad? Good evening. Sí. Good evening, Nancy. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you, teacher? Very good. Thank you for asking. Okay. A mí me da miedo cuando me digan, mm, not fine. No sé qué decir cuando me dicen eso. Ya les han dicho eso. No, no estoy bien. No, verdad. Casi sí. toda la gente dice solo, yes, I'm fine. Estoy bien. Right? Okay, so I think we have one, two, three, four people. We have Manuel, Nancy, Gladys, Good and night. Angel. Good evening, Manuel. So we're going to start with today's class, right? And we're going to do a small, a small review. Vamos a hacer un, un review de lo que hicimos ayer, so we can remember, right? Okay. So the topic that we worked with yesterday was what's the matter, right? That was that was the topic, what's the matter? Now with this topic that we practice, pretty much we were working with this, right? Do you remember this picture? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Very good. So we have what's the matter, right? And it says, okay, let me put my cell phone on mute. Okay, very good. So we have there here the this one. Do you remember these these questions? No? We have the first question is what's the matter or what's wrong? Okay. What's wrong? What's the matter? What's wrong? And what's wrong? Do you remember this? What's yes? What is the okay. problem? Mm -hmm. okay, tienes? ¿Qué te pasa? Uh -huh. Right? Just like remember translations are not always going to be like word for word. Las traducciones no son palabra por palabra usualmente. Las traducciones se pueden traducir a, a, o se pueden hacer, mejor dicho, al, al idioma con base en lo que en lo que entendemos. So, what's the matter? What's wrong? ¿Qué tenés? ¿Qué te pasa? En salvadoreño, right? Okay. And the answer will be, how are you? How do you feel? Right? I have a headache. So, I feel terrible. Me duele la cabeza, entonces me siento mal. Right? Me siento terrible. Right? You see the purpose of this? Right? Yes. Don't, don't forget the structure because this is on your knowledge page. Have plus noun. Let me do it with another color. Okay. We have have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Right? Vamos a utilizar adjetivos que nos hacen sentir. Adjetivos que expresan sentimiento o cómo nos sentimos. Right? That's what we need to use. So, we have some illnesses here. What are some examples of illnesses that we worked with yesterday? 
Gracias. ¿Cuáles son ejemplos de, de enfermedades que vimos ayer? A ver si se recuerdan. I have a headache. Head. Ok, we have, have the word. Ok. We have stomach cake. Headache. Ok, very good. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Very good. Another one. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. I have a sore throat. Sore throat, okay, very good. Sore throat, okay, very good. What else? ¿Quién está escuchando noticias? Que casi no se escucha. Cuando hablamos. Right? Está bien fuerte. Okay, good, thank you. Thank you. Okay, very good. So what would be another example? We have headache, stomachache, sore throat. Another one? Cold. Hmm? Cold. Flu. Okay. Cold. Cold. Flu. Okay. What else? Backache. Backache. Okay, backache. Okay, backache. Very good. Another one? One more. Angel, are you there? Sí, sí, teacher. Are okay. you listening? Are you listening? No, no. Tell me your example. Ah, eh, me escucha, teacher. Es que no yes. sé si me escuchen. Ah, yes, yes. okay. <laughs> eh, toothache, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Okay, toothache, toothache. Okay, Repeat, very good. teacher, the pronouns, Tooth? please. Toothache, toothache. Toothache, toothache. Okay. But, but you need to do this, the ache is soft. No pronunciamos tan fuerte la última parte. Right? Toothache. Toothache. Stomachache. Right? Backache. Right? Toothache. Very good. Okay, good. Okay, so that's the vocabulary, right? And we remember this. Do you remember these pictures? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Do you practice this vocabulary today? Okay. Yes. Okay. So yesterday we were practicing with this, right? What's the matter or what's wrong? Right? We have backache, right? Backache. I have a backache, right? A backache. I have a backache, okay? I have a backache, very good. So let's see here. What's the matter? What's the illness? ¿Cuál es la enfermedad? I have a toothache. Okay. I have a toothache. toothache. Very good. Then we go with the next one. Earache. What's the answer? I have earache. I have an earache. Earache. Okay. I have an earache. Earache. I have an earache. Earache. Very good. Let's look at this other one. Let's see, Manuel. What do you think this is? Mm, I have... Um, mm -hmm. mm, what is this part of the body? No, no. What is the name of this part of the body? Head. Okay. Head. Okay. Head. And how do you, okay, and how do you pronounce this word? Ache. Ache, okay. Age. So what do you have? Headache. Headache, very good. Head headache. Headache, okay, very good. Headache. headache. Very good, Manuel. So, we say here, I have a headache. Very good. Gabby, help me out. What's the matter? A stomachache. I okay. have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. Very good. Uy, aquí se me fue. Tiene que ir unido. Okay, stomachache. Very good. Then we have next. Let's see here who's here. Uh, Gladys, help me out. Look at this. What do you think this is? Mm. 
What's the matter? What's wrong? Any idea? It's not a coronavirus, but it's similar. I have the flu. Okay, very good. Okay, and another one that is very similar to the flu? Oh, a cold. A cold. Uh -huh. Okay, a so what is the answer, Gladys? Oh. Uh, I have a flu. I have the flu, okay, or I have a cold. Very good. We have two answers for this picture, right? Because they are very similar. Okay. Chair, yes. cuando diga I have flu, no, no, no vamos a decir ah, sino que I have flu. I have flu. Usually, no vamos a decir, I have a flu. Usually, Angel, you say I. Sorry. Usually, you will say I have flu or I have. Oh, sorry. You also say. Like, I have the flu. We use the. Oh, so these, no. these two options are okay. These are the same. Okay. Right? Very good question. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Good question. Mm -hmm. uh, the pronunciation the I have a cold. What is the pronunciation? Cold. 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 Call, 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 exactly, call, 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 call. call. very good. Call, okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome, Nancy. So let's continue here. What's the matter, Margarita? I have a cough. Oh, okay, a cough, very good. I have a cough, right? Okay, very good, nice. What's the matter here? Let me see who's here. Uh, Manuel. Okay. Um, what do you think this is? <laughs> this is new. We're gonna see. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Bobby. Okay, very good. When we, are, when we want to vomit or we want to throw out, right, we say this word, sick. Okay. Right? Like you, yes. For example, you drink, let's say, oh no, this is not good, right? So you say sick, right? And then we're going to use this. Look at this, right? I feel sick, right? right? I have a stomachache. I feel sick. Okay, very good. Help me out with the following. Did you take notes for this? Vamos a ver, permítanme. Necesito que copie el anterior, por favor. Porque es vocabulario nuevo. Eso se lo voy a poner de nuevo. Give me a second. Son dos nuevas que les, que les incluí. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. So we have here, I feel sick, is that when, when you, you are going to vomit, you're going to throw out, like, Miguel, like Manuel said, right? And then we have another one. This one right here, pay attention. It says, what's the matter, right? For example, when you are in a car or in a bus and you are in the bus for more than two or three hours, for example, and you're going to you're going to go to Guatemala and you're in the bus for two or three hours, you feel like, yes. like this, right? You feel dizzy. 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 Very good. I feel dizzy. Mareado, ¿verdad? Exactly. Very good. Okay. There is dizzy. another word. There is another word that you can use for dizzy, right? This word is the same. It has the same meaning. And it's like this. Can you see it? It's lightheaded. 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 Okay, very good. Lightheaded. Yes, it's the same. They, they have the same meaning. 
but usually in the US you will listen more dizzy. I feel dizzy, right? I feel dizzy. Is that clear? Siempre pues, las dos palabras significan lo mismo. La más común para expresarse es dizzy, right? That's the most common one. But you can also listen to lightheaded. Right? It's the same. Is that clear? So you can say also here, right? I feel lightheaded. And it's the same. Is that clear? Is that clear? clear. clear. Yes? Okay. Yes. okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Se está good. refiriendo que le duele la cabeza o que está mareado. Está mareado, está mareado. Because when your head hurts, you, need, you, you have a headache, right? It's different. Okay, very good. Thank you, Miguel. So we go next, right? And we have this one. Gabby, what do you think this is? Mm -hmm. So... Uh-huh. I have a uh, throat. Sore throat. Okay, sore throat. Okay, very sore good. Throat. Yes, sore. right, sore throat. Very good. And mm -hmm. that's the last one. This, this is the vocabulary that we need to remember. Sore throat, dizzy, cough, stomachache, earache. Stomachache, backache. Right, headache, mm -hmm. toothache, and backache, right? We need to remember oh. that vocabulary. Okay, I need someone to help <coughs> me out with the pronunciation. Let's see here. Uh, okay, who do I have? Ernesto. Can you listen, Ernesto? Yes? Ernesto? Yes. Okay, can you help me out with the pronunciation? Let's practice pronunciation. Ernesto okay. is going to pronounce from here to here. And Miguel is going to help me with this. Okay. Okay? Let's see. Okay. This is so true. Okay, very good. This is dizzy. Dizzy, okay. Next. Cough. Cough, okay. Cough. Cough. Very good, cough. Okay. So much uh, H. A stomach ache. A stomach ache. Okay, one more time, Ernesto. Sore throat. Uh, sore throat. Dizzy. Dizzy. Cough. 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 Y sería como con like F this. al final. Cough. Like this. Cough. Cough. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay. And stomach ache. A stomach ache. Very good. Miguel, let's go. Earache. Earache, okay. Earache. Uh -huh. Headache. Uh -huh. Toothache. Back teach. Okay, very good. Miguel, we're going to make this pronunciation. Can you listen? Earache. Earache. Exactly, very good. It appears. Earache. Earache. Headache. Toothache. Backache. Backache. Back okay, one more time. Okay, Eric. Uh huh. Headache. Okay. Toothache. Okay. Backache. Okay, very good. Very good. So you see, we need to practice a lot the pronunciation, right? So we make sure that we have the correct info here, right? So I have someone. Good night, Jessica. How are you? Okay, so we're gonna work here. We're gonna keep on working and we're gonna do a, a more practice, okay? So let's see here. Every time that we have uh, something that we don't feel okay, right? We're going to use adjectives, right? that we're going to have or that express uh, something bad, right? 
So what are the adjectives that we can use, right? We have one adjective right now that was terrible, right? Right. What is another adjective that we can use? Vamos a utilizar adjetivos que, se, que nos están diciendo que no estamos bien, right? So we can make sentences. Okay. For example, here. Let me see here. Okay. Okay, can you see here? Right, yes. remember that we have feel plus adjectives. The most common adjectives that we're gonna use are terrible, right? Like you don't feel good, right? Terrible. Another adjective that we can use is, for example, sick, right? Dizzy. Light, light headed, right? Awful, right? What are the meaning of those? Uh, exactly, awful, right? So those are adjectives that we're going to use, right? Every time that we have, uh, when we don't feel good, right? For example, if you say, I have the flu, then how do you feel? I feel, you can choose one of the adjectives. Sick. I feel sick. Okay, very good. Very good. You see? Right? What would be another example here? I would tell you one answer, one sentence, I'm sorry, and you tell me how do you feel. Let's use only these five adjectives. I... I have a headache. What could be a possible uh, answer? I need to use one of the adjectives. I feel. Terrible. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Okay, very good. Another okay. example, it could be also, okay, horrible. Very good. I can I say, okay, I have, es verdad, chicos, I have a backache, right? I have a backache. I feel horrible. Right? Horrible. Okay, good. Do you, do you understand what I'm doing here? Right? Yes. In, in this case, I am following the structure that we practiced the day prior. We practice this structure, right? So I need you to always keep in mind this structure. Do you have a question about this? Yes. Okay, what's your question? What is the pregunta? Cuéntame. Uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Two adjectives, um, negative adjectives and positive adjectives. These adjectives are negative. Never negative. Negatives, yes, because they they are not they are not used to express good feelings, only bad feelings, right? Yes. So examples okay. of adjectives to express bad feelings, right? Okay. Because an adjective, a positive adjective to express a good feeling will be happy, right? Great, excellent, right? Those are good adjectives, right? These adjectives right here, right? These are adjectives that we usually use Right, to express or to describe bad feelings. Right, that's what we need yes. to remember. Is that clear? Yes, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, very good. Another question? Another question? Do you have a question? People? Not 
teacher. No? Are you sure? Okay, so let me send you this right now. Let me see here, where are you? Para que tengan copia de lo que vamos haciendo, okay? Good, so there we are. We're going to move to the next activity. Look at this activity. We're going to practice a small conversation, right? Using this, right? We're going to do this very easily. We have a lot of uh, vocabulary, a lot of illnesses, a lot of feelings. So let's look at this. This is class activity. Imagine you don't feel well today. Then you're going to find out what's wrong with your classmates, right? It says here, letter A and letter B, right? Catherine, are you there? Catherine? No, oh, she left. Okay. Nancy, and? Oh. <laughs> and Esmeralda. Okay. Nancy, you are going to be letter A, and Esmeralda, you're going to be letter B. Okay. Okay. okay, teacher. Let's start. How are you today, Esmeralda? I feel terrible. I have a stomachache. I am sorry to hear, hear that. How do you feel? How do you feel, Nancy? We can continue the conversation. How okay. Mm -hmm. Answer to that. Okay, I feel fine this day. And you? Oh, she feels terrible. Ya le dijo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for example here, okay. right? Uh, Esmeralda asks, okay, how do you feel, right? So we can also add more information here with letter A, right? That would be Nancy. I feel dizzy. Yes. Dizzy. Mm -hmm. I feel dizzy. I, I feel dizzy. Okay. I have I the have flu. Right? The flu. Okay. Right? And then you continue. You see? You're giving more information. Because and then, yes. What again? is dizzy? Dizzy. What is dizzy? Exactly. <laughs> thank you, Nancy. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Then we have more words that we can use, right? Look at these useful expressions right here, right? We have useful expressions that like, for example, sorry, that's good, right? Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. That's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's suppose, let's suppose, let's change this a scenario. Let's change this and Let's suppose that Nancy says, I feel great today, right? So what is a possible answer? Ah, oh, I'm glad to hear that. Glad means that perfect, right? This okay. one right here means that it's perfect, right? That you feel like that, right? Is that clear? So we're going to practice. Is, 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 do you have a question about this activity? Do you have a question about this activity? Vamos a practicar no. todos, right? We're all going to practice right now. And I want you to practice with your partners, right? Let me see here. Oh, give me a second. I'm going to, I'm going to open my my WhatsApp because it's not it's not being sent. Okay. Also enviado. Okay, there we are. Okay, so do we understand what we're gonna do? We're going to practice right now the conversation, right? The small conversation. We are going to use the expressions. I have a headache, I have a stomach ache, I have a backache, and so on, right? And we're going to use expressions such as that's good, I'm glad to hear that, right? That's what we're going to do. Podemos practicar con diferentes eh, enfermedades, 
o diferentes formas en, en cómo nos sentimos, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, very good. So let's continue here. I'm going to, did you get the, the WhatsApp image? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put you right now in groups of three, right? Groups of three, so, so we can practice. Vamos a practicar por cinco minutos, vamos a ir viendo cómo va. Cada uno, recuérdense no repetir las mismas enfermedades, o tratar de utilizar más de dos adjetivos de los que ya les mandé para que podamos ir practicando, ¿ok? ¿Ok? ¿Can you hear me? Yes. yes. No? Yes, okay, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Ok, thank you, Miguel and Gabby. Ok, let's go. Let's go to the groups. Let's go to the groups. Let's go, let's go. Hello, Janira. Hello. Hello, Janira. Hello. What are your questions? Do you have questions about this activity? No, teacher. No. Okay. So let, let me listen to you. Las quiero escuchar. Okay. How are you today, Esmeralda? I feel uh, I'm six. I have a, a cold. I'm sorry to hear that. A veces como se dice ahí. Hear. Hear. How do you feel, Margarita? I have a backache. I feel... That's so too bad. Yes. Okay, let's make sure that the conversation is more fluent, right? Practiquemos así como que yo no soy acá, ustedes están practicando para que seamos más fluidos, ¿verdad? So we go, hi. What's it called? How are you today, uh, Janina? How are you today, Janina? Janina. Hello, teacher. Hello, Janina. How are you today? I feel terrible. I have. Um, I feel heat. terrible. Uh huh. Heat. para sobrevivir. Okay, Janira. Ay, eh, es correcto como pronuncié cabeza, como dolor de cabeza. Headache. Okay, headache. 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 Very good, headache. Very good. Headache. Okay. Okay. I, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, so. Uh -huh. I'm sorry to hear that. Estamos bien teniendo una conversación en que alguien me está diciendo que está enfermo y yo lo estoy tratando de ayudar. Right? Oh, That, that's what's okay. happening. Uh, yo me okay. estoy, no lo estoy tratando de decir, que estoy tratando de decirle que qué mal que se siente así. ¿Ok? Ok. Este es el propósito okay. para que cuando ustedes estén en, en una conversación con alguien en inglés, les digan, ah, oh, I have a backache. Ustedes no se quedan así como que, ok. Oh, mm -hmm. yo sé. So sorry to hear that. Right? Oh, that's too bad. Right? And you have okay. that, those expressions. Okay, very good. Las dejo trabajar solitas para que se sientan cómodas. Voy a ir con otro grupo. Okay? Practice. Okay. Yes. Very okay. good. <laughs> Hello, 
I'm sorry to hear that. How do you feel? I feel um, horrible. I have a backache. Dolor de espalda, backache. Backache. Uh -huh. Backache. Very good. Backache. Backache. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Um, how are you today, Juan? I feel awful. Uh, I have habits. I am sorry, in ese caso, eh, perdón, en ese caso sería eh, que tú no, como una terrible... Entonces, ¿yo tengo que responder junto, junto con el adjetivo o, o el verbo, ah. en este caso, que él, él menciona, verdad? Uh -huh. What would be the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? En ese caso, la respuesta va a cambiar por el hecho de que él ya está indicándome que es otro verbo. Ok, so what would oh. be the answer? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la respuesta? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál cree usted que es la respuesta? <risa> en este caso él me indica que está que fue un día malo. Ok. Y en ese caso yo le, le, le digo lo siento que y lo, lo invito como a, a tener una respuesta positiva. Let's go again. <risa> Okay, ask ask again, please. How are you today, uh, Juan? I feel awful. I have a headache. Okay. So for you, is that good or bad? Bad. Okay, it's bad. Very good. Bad. So what's the possible answer what that you can give? Can I say, mm. oh excellent? No, right? No. Oh. I'm sorry. I am no. sorry. Okay, I am sorry. Very good. That's too bad. Siento escuchar eso. Exactly. Or, oh, that's too bad. Right? Qué that's... mal. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. You're uh, welcome. I am sorry. That's too bad. 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 Uh-huh. Good. Okay, I'll let you, I'll let you be one minute, okay? Good, one sec. Lazy, eh, uh, lazy. What is the mean lazy? Es, es como lento. Pero lento que no. Lazy, lazy. Lazy. Yes, uh -huh. lazy is like you don't want to do anything. Es mareado. No. no, no, no. I want you to look at the picture right now. Oh, lazy town, me parece que look. Okay. Correct, lazy, teacher. Lazy is an adjective. That's correct. Uh -huh. But it's not an adjective that we're going to use for this situation. Look at lazy. <laughs> Can you look at the picture? Yeah. No. 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 Look at lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is lazy. lazy. This is lazy. Perezoso. Yeah. Perezoso. Exactly. This, this is lazy. Look. Right? Uh, I remember lazy town. Lazy, but lazy town, it's, uh, uh, this is a show. That's a show, so it's not the same. Town is a uh, pueblo. Exactly, but it's, it's not the same because that's a, that's a show for kids. Es un programa de niños, entonces no aplica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Teacher. But lazy, yeah? Teacher. ¿Cómo se dice serie? Bueno, serie de televisión en inglés, ¿cómo se dice? TV shows. Sí, son, no, sí, son este. Ah. TV shows. Ah, uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to be back in one minute, okay? One minute, okay. Angel. One minute. Okay, Wait. Okay. Okay. Sí, sí. Okay. I don't forget. Okay. Ever.
Hoy se me salió solo, teacher. Hoy no le apreté. ¿Really? Sí, todos. Sí, hoy el sol. Sí, igual, estábamos hablando y ¡pum! Y el sol. Weird. Le di un minuto. ¿Qué le pasa a esta locura? No, hoy no fui yo. A contarnos la novela, ahí vamos. Oh, my goodness. Ok, so let's continue here, right? How do you feel the practice? Was it good? Was it bad? So, so? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Más o menos. So, so. Oh, good. So, so. Good. Ok. I know more of the classmates. Ok, perfect. For me, complicated. It was complicated, yes. But we need to practice more. Right? Yeah. Se, trata de hacer, de, se trata de cometer errores y ver en lo que fallamos para poder mejorar. Right? That's the purpose. Right? So, we're going to continue. We're going to attach this to common medications. Right? We are sick. Right? We have a backache. We have headache. We have a toothache, earache. So, we need medications. Right? We need medicine. Right? So, can you help me out and read this? Uh, let's see, Gabby. Common medications. Common medication. Lessons objectives. By the end of the class, you will learn the names of common medication for health problems. Very good. So, at the end of the class, right, van a aprender los nombres de medicamentos comunes para problemas de salud. Right? That's the purpose. Right? And we're going to learn the most common ones. Do you watch the video on, on, on the platform? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. very good. So what's the pronunciation of this? What's the pronunciation? For example, if I want to pronounce, um, let's say, I want to pronounce this. What's the pronunciation? Uh -huh. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Okay, cough syrup. Very good. Then I have this. Cough syrup. What would cough be the pills. cold pills? Cold Very pills. good. Cold pills. Okay, and yeah. what about this? Antiacid. Antacid, okay, very good, very good. Fantastic. What about this? This is like Ophal, you know, right? Muscle, muscle cream. cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream, muscle cream, muscle very good. Cream. Oh. Muscle cream. Muscle cream, very good. Then we have this one. Aspirin. 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 Very good. And what about, let me put this bigger. So I don't like it here. Then we have this. Cough, How they cough? Drops. cough drops. Cough drops, very good. Cough drops. Cough drops. Very good. What about this? You put this on when you have dry eyes, right? Eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops, very good. And this Eye is drops. when you have the flu, for example, you're gonna put this on your nose. Right? It's nasal spray. Very nasal good. spray. Nasal spray. Nasal spray. Nasal, 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 spray. nasal spray. 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 Very good. Spray. spray. Very good. Very good. I like this. Very good. Okay. So let's let's look at the the questions here. What medications do you have at home? What medications do you have oh. at home? All of them? Okay, nice, Miguel. Okay. All in my house. Okay, everything? Yes. Um, Jessica, good, Miguel, good. I only have, in my case, I only have cough syrup, aspirin, nasal spray. Oh, and antas, I have Pepto in my house, right? Sometimes in the US, in the United States, they will not say antiacid, they will say Pepto. Like Pepto is small. Right? Pepto. Right? So I only have this. In one. my house, I have Abamigram. 
Oh, yes, for the headache, right? Yes. For headaches, yes. me too, me too, right? What I about, uh-huh? I have ace drop for my recommendation for my doctor. You have eye drops? Oh, okay. Yeah. Eye drops. And every day. Oh, that's, that's, that's very deep. Recom recommendation mm. for my doctor. From your yeah. doctor, okay. I have a problem in my eyes. I have a problem in my eyes. Don't watch and too much. And also use, use, use every day. Mm. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing, Angel. What about, um, who has nasal spray? Nobody? No. What about muscle cream? You know, the people that goes to the gym, people that go to the gym, they should have muscle cream, right? That's every time you go to the gym, you need to put those, right? What about the name heart right? We can use that too. Right? Okay, very good, very good. So you remember the vocabulary, I like that. So let's continue here with the next part, right? Very good. Okay, can you see my computer? Yes. Okay, so yeah. we already answered this question, so it's, it's, it's not good. But we have the question, right? We have here, the structure that was shown on the video, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirins, right, for example. But in this case, for example, Nancy can say, whenever I have a headache, right, or a migraine, right? Migraine. Okay. I take. I take. Abamidam. Okay, very good. Abamidam. I take. Abamigram. Abamigram. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Right. So you see, we have three different parts in the sentence. Right. We have whenever I have. Right. That's one part. The second part is the illness. And the third part is the medicine. Right. Okay. Okay. We right. Have we have three three sections in this, right? Three different sections. Okay, very good. The three different colors. So, what would be another another example? Who wants to try? Mm, whenever I have a headache, I take a uh, acetaminophen. <laughs> okay, I take. Okay, very good. Look at this. Now, these oh. words, these words are very difficult to pronounce, okay? All of them, porque son de medicina. A menos que vean Grey's Anatomy en inglés, se van a poder todo, right? Otherwise, okay. they are very difficult, yes, because they are very difficult. So, what are we going to do? Look at this. Look at what I'm going to do right now. I am going to go to Google, right? I am going to place here the word. Right, can you see that? Okay. And then next to the word, we're going to put the word pronunciation English. Right? So listen to this. Listen to this. Acetaminophen. Did you listen to that? Acetaminophen. Yeah, okay, yeah. very good. Very good. Acetaminophen. Okay, one more time. Acetaminophen. I'm going to put it slow. Acetaminophen. Miren, aquí se lo podemos poner más lento, miren, para la pronunciación. Look, aquí abajo. Nice. Look at this. Acetaminophen. 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 Okay. Acetaminophen. Let us listen one more time. One more time. Acetaminophen. Este teléfono nos está ni un ratito sin que se ponga en negro. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. 
Very good. Acetaminophen. So, these words are very difficult, right? This, this one is telling me that it's not correct. How do you spell okay. this word? Um, Nancy? Analgesic means. Oh, analgesic, okay. Analgesic. Okay. Look at this. Analgesic. Yes. Analgesic. 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 Okay, one more time. Analgesic. Analgesic. Okay, very good. Analgesic. Analgesic. Okay. Analgesic. So, right, we're going to go ahead, right, and we're going to make sure that we have the correct pronunciation here right, from Google pronunciation, right, so we can practice. Porque no son palabras okay. que utilizamos todos los días, right? Gracias a Dios, no es pronunciamos siempre, right? So we're going okay. to practice, we're going to practice this structure, right, exactly this structure. We're going to practice here with one classmate, and we're going to practice at least three options. And we can use the medicine that we have here, Right, I'm gonna send you this to your WhatsApp. Right, we're going to practice the medicine. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, Angel. Y por ejemplo, lo que vaya, por ejemplo, yo hice headache, pero yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, hard eyes, dolor de ojo, no. Dry eyes, dry eyes. Dry eye. Yes, or you have an eye dry infection. Dry eyes. Mm -hmm. Dry eyes. I'm gonna let you know how do you say uh, conjuntivitis. Okay. okay, I sent you two pictures right now to your emails, right? To your, sorry, to your WhatsApps. So we're going to practice two to three minutes because we only have five minutes, okay? Let's see here. Teacher, y whenever es cuando? Hmm? Whenever. Whenever, yes. Es cuando. Yes, cuando sir. tienes algo, es algo así. Yes, sir. In your body. Yes. That's correct. Okay, let's see here. Let's practice. Okay, let's go, let's go. Manuel, can you please go to your room? Manuel? Hey, hey spring. Hey spring. Okay, aspirin. thank you. Aspirin. Your turn. Aspirin. 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 Yes. Aspirin. Mm. Uh, whenever I have a whenever I have <laughs> okay whenever I, I take I candy I take candy <laughs> full candy. energy in my body candy full, full energy in my body <laughs> okay Easy. <laughs> okay, bueno, good. Whenever I have <laughs> the cake, I take muscle cream. Muscle cream. Ah, okay. And whenever uh, I Okay, dry Nancy? Ice? Okay, yes, sorry. Teacher. You say I use I use or a uh, muscle cream. Muscle clean. Uh -huh. Muscle clean. Me, me cuesta un poco pronunciar. Mas, mas, muscle. 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 
cream. Mass of cream, okay. Lo pro, the practice. Uh -huh. Sorry, Ángel. Okay. Con no, okay. Continúa. Continue, ah, continue. Okay. continue. Okay. Vamos a ver. Um, um, por ejemplo, ya. Okay. Whatever I have. Um, a dry eye. I take uh, no logro leer la nombre de la gotas. Eh, it's a uh, eye drops. I okay, drop, I drop. I drop you. Eye drops. Eye drop. Eye drop. Okay. Uh, whatever I have. To teach, I take an analgesic. Okay, whenever I, I take have... an analgesic. Mm -hmm. whenever... Okay. Whenever I have a flu, I take a cough, cough drops. Hello, Yanira, Jessica. Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna see here. Where's, oh, well, all the practice that we're gonna make. And how was the practice, Jessica? Hoy sí, todo bien? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. A uh, new... <laughs> okay, new vocabulary. New vocabulary. Very good. Okay, perfect. So we're going to uh here. We only have one minute. Right? How was how was today's class? ¿Cómo estuvo la clase de hoy? Mucho vocabulario. Yes. Bastante. Muy interactiva. Vocabulario nuevo. A lot Pero... of vocabulary, right? So no worries. Yo sé que es bastante. Se recuerdan que les dije antes que empezáramos esta sección que iba a ser bastante vocabulario, right? But that's why we need to practice. Y hoy adelantamos bastante porque ustedes ya habían practicado en su casita, right? So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So tomorrow I have more practice for you, right? For common medication and also some practice also with imperatives that we're going to be practicing right so do you have a question about today's class any questions gastritis se escribe tal cual como i don't remember let's see i think it's gastritis yes it's the same the same the same the spelling. The pronunciation is different. It's gastritis. Okay. Mm -hmm. La palabra indigestion. Indication. Indigestion. Indigestion. Okay. Okay. Yes. Don't forget. Teacher. Don't forget to to look for the information on Google for the pronunciation. Okay. Don't forget that. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Ok, lo voy a dejar porque ya tenemos otra clase encimita, right? So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful okay, night. Good night, good night. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.